Hi, hello, how are ya? Chef Kennedy here. On this episode, we are making a Chinese American takeout staple crab rangoon. What is a crab rangoon, you may ask? Well, thanks for asking. It is a mixture of crab meat and cream cheese mixed together in a wonton wrapper and fried until golden perfection. For the vegan version, we'll use hearts of palm and homemade cream cheese served with a sweet and sour chili sauce. Once you have a taste of these delectable treats, you'll be wonton more. Get it? Like a wonton wrapper? Okay. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start with our cream cheese followed by sweet and sour chili sauce and our hearts of palm crab meat. I just wanna give a shout out to Chef Jana because I saw her do this technique to make vegan cream cheese and it inspired my recipe. So you wanna take unsweetened plain soy milk here, add that to a saucepan, and we're gonna cook this until 180 degrees. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, that's okay. Just cook it to the point right before it starts boiling. Once that is nice and warm, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of white distilled vinegar. As you can see, it's gonna curdle pretty immediately. So you just wanna gently mix that around without disturbing the curds. Allow that to sit for about five to 10 minutes and then place a bowl under a strainer covered by cheesecloth and strain out the curds. Allow that to cool until it's easy to work with and then you're just gonna twist together the cheesecloth and strain out as much liquid as you can. The more liquid you're able to squeeze out, the thicker your cream cheese will be. Once you have strained out as much liquid as possible, you'll be left with this thick soybean curd. And we're just gonna add that into a blender with one teaspoon of salt, a third cup of coconut cream, one teaspoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a half teaspoon of miso paste, and blend that on high until smooth and creamy. Now you're gonna take a tablespoon of canola oil and a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and you're gonna emulsify that into this mixture while the blender is running. You may need to use a spatula just to help out the oil integrate into the cream cheese. Now just set that into a container and allow to chill for at least four hours before using. Once it's set, it should be nice, thick, and creamy. Ooh, look at that. Now we're gonna work on our sweet and sour sauce. Take one teaspoon of cornstarch, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, and whisk that together. Add that to a small saucepan with six tablespoons of fresh squeezed orange juice, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of tamari or soy sauce, two tablespoons of ketchup, and one to one and a half teaspoons of chili paste. Whisk that together and cook on medium heat for about five minutes until nice and thick. Allow that to chill for at least an hour before serving. I like my sauce chilled personally. While you're waiting, time for a dance party. Okay, so for our hearts of palm crab mixture, we're gonna take three cloves of garlic and we're gonna give those a nice mince. Then we're gonna take a can of hearts of palm. I like to soak those in water to remove the citric acid flavor. Then you're gonna give those a rough chop, followed by 
a pretty fine mince. Now you could do this with a food processor if you'd like. Now we're going to take one scallion from the green to the white and slice it very thinly on a bias. Half of this we'll use for garnish and half we'll use in our mixture and we're just going to mince that. Now we're going to take a hot pan and add one tablespoon of vegan butter. Add in your hearts of palm and cook that for about five minutes until lightly golden. Then add in your garlic, a half teaspoon of black pepper, a half teaspoon of Old Bay, half teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of dried parsley. Mix that up and cook for about two minutes until the garlic is fragrant. Once that's all set, you're gonna add that to a bowl and allow it to cool slightly before adding in your cream cheese. So add in about one and a half cups of cream cheese with your minced scallion and mix it up. We're gonna set that aside while we work on an egg wash to adhere our wontons together. So you'll take one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of cold water. Give that a mix until there are no lumps. I'm going to be using these vegan wonton wrappers and I like to work with four at a time. Whatever you're not working with, you'll want to make sure is covered so that they don't dry out. Now you'll take about a tablespoon of our hearts of palm mixture and add that to the center of the wonton. Use the cornstarch egg mixture and just with your finger place that right around the edges of the wonton wrapper. Now you're going to align the opposite edges of the wrapper. Try to get them as perfectly lined up as you can and then take the other sides and fit them together like a puzzle. Once that is nice and together, just make sure to pinch down the edges really firmly so that they don't pop open. And you're going to continue that with the rest of the wontons. Once you have them all assembled, you're going to heat some vegetable oil about two inches to about 350 degrees. You'll know it's ready to go when it starts bubbling nicely when you add in your crab rangoons. Cook those for about five to ten minutes until they're nice and golden brown at the edges. Now you're just going to transfer those to a wire rack to drain out any excess oil. You'll want to work these in batches. For me, I prefer to do four at a time just makes it nicer that they don't overcrowd the pot. Once those are all fried off, transfer those to a wire rack and allow it to chill slightly before serving. Look how gorgeous they are. Okay, so here we have our crabless rangoons and it's time for the taste test with our sweet and sour chili sauce. Mmm. 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 Did you hear that crunch? Oh yes. 
These are tangy, creamy, crunchy, delicious, sweet, sour, spicy. Oh, I love it. I hope you guys make these yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell, won't you? From my kitchen to yours, Chef Kennedy, out.